Hey gents, today we're taking a look at the newest from Beckett and Simenon. This is their Valencia Whole Cut Oxford. And I'm pretty excited about this because I don't have anything quite this. Uh, they use the word elegant a few times on their website, but I'm excited to take a look and get into these shoes. Now you know that I've unboxed Beckett and Simenon in the past. It's a company that I have shopped with for uh, at least four, let me see, 2011, many years. So I actually shopped with them in their original iteration. They've since changed a little bit of their model. They've upgraded their, their leathers and they've upgraded some of their manufacturing. And so I think truly this is, uh, these are my shoes here. So I'll link to Beck and Simon on below. And if you want to learn about the best men's wear on the internet, make sure you subscribe. So this is the latest pair that I got from Beck and Simon on. Uh, I love the look of these shoes. I think that they're extremely tough to beat in their price point. So you can definitely spend a little bit less money and get a lower quality shoe. You can definitely spend more money and get a higher quality shoe. But at this $200 price point that Beck and Simon on typically fills, uh, this is a pair pair of about six month old shoes and then these loafers which I've taken care of pretty well these are five years old so these are the Goodyear welted line for Beck and Simonon so I am a Beck and Simonon fan I have other shoes I got Paul Evans that I'll be opening up very shortly here but I think that these shoes at $200 occupy what typically is sitting in like a $300 price point at a typical retailer which is why I like these shoes you get a pretty good deal they're made very well obviously if you take care of them and uh, I'm just excited to jump into these ones here. And so the whole cut Oxfords are made with a, just a single piece of leather. They say that it's very difficult to manufacture for uh, a typical shoe just because of the complexity of using one piece of leather. So you can see here we have one nice piece stitch in the back and then these are a Blake constructed shoe so these are a leather sole they're able to be resold very easily as long as you take care of the upper they should last you many years take them to a cobbler and you'll have them taken care of and then also make sure you uh, make sure you polish them make sure you condition the leather and you'll have a beautiful shoe so this is the dark brown leather has a rubber tipped heel here and just a nice beautiful clean silhouette and then leather lined interior I found that they do a cork construction in the sole which helps a lot I walk through a ton of cities and airports in my Beck and Simonon shoes and they never let me down for comfort which is not always associated with a leather soled shoe so I am really digging these for sizing, I usually find that I'm between a 12 and a 13 in a dress shoe. With Beck and Simon on, the 13s fit me really well. I got a pair of 12s last time that were just a hair too, too small. I did find that these insoles that are included, these additional padded insoles, help extremely well for long wears. Uh, I wore these at a conference a few months ago in my new shoes and they were a lifesaver. So it's nice that they include these padded insoles also. The way that Beck and Simonon works is you're able to get these shoes for a limited run. They only do these in small batches. Then they'll end this shoe at the end of the month. So you wanna pick these up now and then they'll have a new line in the next month. But these are the July shoe. You can take a look and if you dig these, pick them up. If you like something else on their site, uh, I recommend the brand overall. I've had a lot of good luck with their shoes in the past. There you have it, gents. Beck and Simonon, a perennial personal favorite for dress shoes here on my channel. Thank you to all of your great recommendations for shoe companies on my last video. It's extremely helpful as I dive into more of these. And as always, keep those recommendations coming. Let me know what you think about the whole cut. It's definitely a new silhouette for me, something I'm excited to try and work into my wardrobe. Probably not the first dress shoe you should buy, but definitely something to get into as you expand out from your core collection and do some more unique shoes. Got more shoe videos coming up this week. And until next time, gents, this is The Cavalier. Flavio Giorolami. You know, I thought it was crooked.